I'm about to get my son from school. Oh, here we go. Hey, bud. Hello. How's everything going? It's good. How was school? It was all right. It was kind of boring, but kind of kind of boring. All right, but kind of boring. Yeah. I'm about to pass the history test on you. Well, hurry and buckle up. Okay. So it was kind of fun and kind of boring, huh? Yeah. All right. You got ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. All this trap. Stop it. Ouch. I don't like those wet willies. That's gross and nasty to stop doing that. So what are you doing in school? What are you working on? So what are you doing in school right now? What are you working on? Well, World War One right now. World War One? Oh my God, that's the most boring thing ever. Mm, kind of. I mean, I just started on it, so I don't know if it's one or not. I don't know much about. Well, ah, ah, I'm serious. I will pull over. I will pull over if you don't stop it. That is the grossest thing. Who does that? Well, the wet willies, Lex, so you don't imagine wet willies. You don't just imagine wet willies. You know what a wet willie is? Yeah. They take their finger and they stick it right in your ear, and I hate that. I can't stand that. Anyway, good to see you. Mm -hmm. We're going to get on the road. That's I'm going to pull, 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 pull over. I swear I'm going to pull over. That's I'm going to pull, I'm pulling over. I'm going to pull over. I'm pulling over right now. I am pulling over, and that's it. I will pull off my swat belt. I got a spanky stick belt. I will spanky stick you right now. Sorry, Lex. It's nothing about you. This is nothing about you. I'm pulling over. Lex. Lex. Look. <laughs> I was trying to prank you. <laughs> I was trying to prank you. No. You thought somebody was. You thought somebody was back there. I was wondering why you kept doing that. <laughs> I want to watch this video so bad. No. <laughs> Look at Jolene. All them geese are trying to tell her to move it, and she's like, "You know what? I'll move it when I'm ready. I'm eating." And then she makes Waylon eat on the other side. Poor Waylon. Poor Waylon. Ritzy, Ritzy, sit down. You're gonna, Ritzy. Let her out. She wants Come to in. run. Confused? I can tell you guys right now that video quality today is gonna really sh suffer. Actually, video will be fine. It's gonna be the audio. When the wind's whipping around like that, Jamie. Yeah. You ain't gonna get much good audio. That's true. This is the kind of video where I should just probably just not even talk, just mute everything, and just put some music on. <laughs> Start with the ducks. <laughs> many, many years ago when I was 23, I was married to a widow who was pretty as could be. This widow had a grown-up daughter who had hair of red. My father fell in love with her and soon they two were wed. This made my dad my son-in-law and changed my very life. For my daughter was my mother cause she was my father. <laughs> It's time to eat. Let's go get on Dad's butt for getting here too late. Yeah. He needs to feed us, dang it. Hi, Waylon. Hi, Jolene. They're like, wait a minute. That's Mom's voice. <laughs> Sorry, it's... Dad's here too. I... Okay. Waylon, you got to get a better one of those. <laughs> no one's going to take you serious. Jo Jolene just looked at you and like, do you believe this? Don't she goes, move it. Waylon, you Don't little stop skinny it. butt. Wait. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love this, buddy. I love... Oh, boy. You guys. Babe, will you love them, too? I'm going to go love Buddy and... I got to love Buddy and Trixie. Hello, Buddy and Trixie. Hello. Hello, babies. Come on. Come on around. Come on around. Come on. Hello, buddy. 
brought me joy. I soon became the father of a bouncing baby boy. My little baby then became a brother-in-law to dad. And so became my uncle, though it made me very sad. For if he was my uncle, then that also made him brother to the widow's grown-up daughter, who of course was my stepmother. My father's wife then had a son who kept him on the run. And he became my grandchild because he was my daughter's son. My wife is now my mother's mother and it makes me blue. Because although she is my wife, she's my grandmother too. If my wife is my grandmother, then I am her grandchild. And every time I think of it, it nearly drives me wild. This has got to be the strangest thing I ever saw. As husband of my grandmother, I am my own grandpa. I'm my own grandpa. Everybody! I'm my own grandpa. It's a funny, I know, but it really is so. Watch hey, these geese. I'm my own this is the newest thing. They run the pigs off the oatmeal. I don't know why they do that. Okay, watch. Here comes this other one. And uh, Peggy Pig, as big as she is, she has no fight in her watch. Yeah, look at Peggy run. <laughs> the geese have won. That's always been one of the saddest things to me. I am finally out of the blast of wind. All right, so we're looking for eggs. There's two in this top bed up there nothing there nothing there oh jackpot here's the jackpot i don't have an apron so friends i'm going to put these in my pocket but i'll be real gentle real careful and i'll make my way back over to the house the settlement there you don't want to crack eggs they're worth so much ago when I was 23 I was married to a widow who was pretty as could be this widow had a grown-up daughter who had hair of red my father fell in love with her and soon they two were wed this made my dad my son-in-law and changed my very life for my daughter was my mother cuz she was my father's wife to complicate the matter even though it brought me joy I soon became the father of a bouncing baby boy my little baby then became a brother-in-law to dad and so became my uncle though it made me very sad for if he was my uncle then that also made him brother to the widow's grown-up daughter who of course was my stepmother my father's wife then had a son who kept him on the run and he became my grandchild cause he was my daughter's son my wife is now my mother's mother and it makes me blue because although she is my wife she's my grandmother too if my wife is my grandmother then i am her grandchild and every time i think of it it nearly drives me wild this has got to be the strangest thing i ever saw as husband of my grandmother i am my own grandpa i'm my own grandpa Everybody. Hey, Timmy, my good boy. Why don't you, hold on a minute, I'll scratch your tummy. How about I scratch his tummy? Here we go. Oh boy, the ears, the tummy, here he goes. Oh my gosh, lay down, Timmy. Oh boy, oh, he loves this so much. His favorite thing in the whole wide world. 
when Yardy was his little tummy, his little legs. Oh, he's such a good boy, and I love him so much. Look at his teeth. Tiny Tim has two teeth. They're sharp. All right. How about we all play a game? How well do you know me? Look out across the pasture and tell me out of all of those living and breathing souls, which of those critters are dead to me? Y'all have to look at how good Indy's doing. She's over here with the horses, Bucky's and Voodoo, and she's being so protective. Bucky's is not having it. Bucky's does not like to be told what to do. And uh, he and Indy are kind of going back and forth, messing around with each other. But she, listen, she's persistent. She's not going to get up and turn and run. She's a, She's been highly trained by her mama. And I bet her mom is super proud of her right now. She's running security for us, y'all. And so it's her job to check IDs and paperwork and all of the things that good security agents have to do. I come to tell you a story about a man. Humble is his way, he lends you a helping hand Who took the time to teach kids, that was his profession Plus drove the school bus when they completed all their lessons Single father or two, plus a coach could be a lot to juggle But not when you're working with that I'm a survivor muscle He took pride in the few animals he raised Hobby forming by night seems to balance out his days And he always knew that his best days were yet to come But didn't know first he had to make it through a storm Everybody's evacuating, leaving in a hurry There's trouble on the way, they name it Hurricane Harvey When you have little resources, not a whole lot of money It's hard to lock away and secure all of your belongings So this man and his two boys packed and evacuated Waited for the storm to pass and it was hard to have patience Cause there were all sorts of rumors that spoke on How you needed a boat for the roads that we drove on And animals are floating by, helpless and afraid The storm was cataclysmic, left the town in a rage the roads finally opened, and it was time to go see the damage that was done. He was kind of scared to proceed, but started down his driveway, water just above both feet. Pull out his phone to capture, moments later, guess what he seen? It was his little black pig named Patty, dashing his way like a lost child who found daddy. Emotions running high, he didn't know what to do, except cry tears of joy, and he ran toward her too. The little goat bag was like the engine that could Because she never gave up And the horses, they were good See, the house was a wreck But all that could be fixed It really hurt to see Some got caught up in the fence Lost their life In that moment, he was taken out his element And then God came and gave him gifts that was heaven sent Admired how he tended to the animals and land Because that was the initial plan when he made man And so, he was placed on a whole new surface The same old land, but a whole new purpose And three months later, he was blessed with a wife Row front and center watching him rebuild his whole life So remember this story And you think you have nothing I'm a survivor sanctuary We're all survivors of something